Walmart Plus, will it be better than Amazon Prime? Well, honestly, it doesn't matter if you think it's gonna be better or not, because if you're an Amazon seller, then you gotta be listing your products on walmart.com. You gotta be capitalizing on this new wave that is about to come upon us, okay? You gotta get in early on the walmart.com rise or else by the time you may want to down the line, it may be too late, all the great ranking spots may be taken and you're gonna lose a whole lot of momentum trying to be late versus being an early bird. So I highly recommend if you're an Amazon seller right now, look into walmart.com, get your products listed there, figure out how you can add on to the next marketplace that is blowing up because I guarantee you, whether you like it or not that Walmart Plus is coming around, it's gonna be coming and there is going to be buyers on that platform. So in this video, I am going to cover all the stuff that you need to know about Walmart Plus and honestly, if you're a seller and you're an Amazon seller and you're watching this and I, you know, you gotta keep watching. Click the thumbs up button if you get value, leave a comment below if you have any questions at all and let's go ahead and jump into the computer. All right, so first, before we jump into it, my name is Ian Smith. I run an Amazon marketing agency called EvolveMedia.Agency. Now, if you wanna book a call with me to talk about your business and figure out if we're a good fit, to maybe we can help you running your Facebook ads, building messenger bots, running rebate campaigns, doing email marketing, all that kind of stuff, then head over to EvolveMedia.Agency, book that call with me, and we can figure out if we're a good help. We work with, you know, we specialize in Amazon sellers, so chances are we can help you uh, get a lot more done than what you're currently getting done right now. But anyway, Walmart Plus, will it be better? Well, first of all, let me just tell you what this guy has an opinion out there. Whoever wrote this little blog on fortune.com, he seems to think that one in three Amazon Prime members are likely to subscribe to Walmart Plus. I don't personally agree with him. I have been an Amazon Prime member for years now and I don't think that I'm gonna jump ship. I'm not gonna be switching to Walmart Plus. I'm not a huge fan of Walmart, to be honest. I hate going into the lo locations. They're always so dirty and nasty and and I wouldn't do grocery shopping there. I mean, so I'm not gonna be one. I'll be maybe the, the two out of the, the, the three. Um, but yeah, so this guy thinks I don't agree with him. Just to show you another article right here, will Amazon Prime reach 200 million members by end of 2020? So that's what we're looking like. I mean, people are thinking Amazon Prime is gonna be close to that, even if they fall short. Let's just say they're at 150 million. I don't know what their current number is right now, but they got over 100 million Amazon Prime members. If Walmart can get a fraction of that, 50 million, 75 million, then do you want your product listed on Walmart Plus? I mean, do you wanna have some of that sales volume? You know, it's gonna come down to, only a handful of options for these Walmart Plus members. If I were you, I would wanna be one of those options, right? Walmart just partnered up with Shopify, and I'm gonna be covering a lot in this video, but Walmart just partnered up with Shopify. They are trying to do their whole fulfillment center, similar thing to Amazon. They're trying to do next day, really fast delivery time. So let's go ahead now and just jump into the details that I have here, all about walmart.com. All right, so first, when will it be available? Now, it's gonna be available July 2020, which is now, we are at July 20th, 2020, so any day now, it should be available if it's not available already right now. Now, it was supposed to be launched in the spring of this year, but because of the cough <coughs> that we got going on, it got delayed until now we're in the summer. So. Any day now, it's gonna be launched. If you're not already on walmart.com, again, I just wanna re remind you again to just get your products, try to figure out the process on getting on walmart.com. How much will Walmart Plus be? Well, they're looking at around $98 per year right now. Now, if you know Amazon Prime, they're currently at 120 per year. I remember when Amazon Prime was like 70 bucks a year. I think I when I first signed up, it was like 79 or 69 or like 70 bucks a year around there. Now they're up at 120. So Walmart is trying to slide under them, be cheaper, and they're really trying to take on Amazon. I mean, what other company you got with these whole Prime? You know, I compare it to Costco. Costco has their, you know, Prime. So maybe Costco will be next. Walmart, Sam's Club, you know, I want, I'm curious to see what Walmart Plus does with Sam's Club, if that's gonna be a completely different entity or is that going to be similar? But basically, they're gonna try and undercut Amazon and they're gonna be trying to offer the same perks. So, what's included? Well, Walmart will reportedly include free same-day 
delivery of groceries. And I say free because like I've, I'm here in Florida, so we shop at Publix. Publix tries to offer free, I believe they use Instacart. I think that's their, their brand. They say it's free, it's not free. I'm freaking paying, like they'll try to charge me like $5 for a pack of cheese when I know that that is $4 for a pack of cheese when I go into the grocery store. So it's like, you can't lie to me, bro. I know that you're marking up the cost and then you're trying to say that it's free. It's like the whole free shipping thing. Like I know that I'm paying for shipping. It's just maybe in the cost of the product now instead of at the checkout part like that. So they're trying to say free same day delivery of groceries and other merchandise like tech, beauty, sports products, and you know even discounts at Walmart gas stations. So we'll see what uh, free really means. I'm personally not a huge fan of the whole grocery delivery system because they always seem to mess it up. <laughs> like there's always something wrong. Like literally Publix showed a like a bundle of bananas, okay? And then we were like, yeah, we'll take one bundle of bananas. They gave us one banana, so. Just little things like that is what happens when you're buying groceries online. It's it, we're still working out the kinks. This is still brand new stuff, but it is exciting that you know now you can just click and stay home and just order groceries. I mean, I think it's pretty cool. Anyway, so other perks could include discounts on prescriptions, and members may be able to check out in Walmart stores without waiting in line. Building the retailer's scan and go service. That's another thing that I hate about Walmart. Again, I hate to go there, and I don't want to go there that often because. Everything is self-checkout now, at least here in Florida. I gotta go get my my stuff, and then I gotta come and check myself out and leave, like, I'm not feeling that, okay? And then they give me this tiny little space to put all the groceries and stuff that I bought from them in this small little area. Back in the day, they had like a weighted uh, bag system. I don't even know if they still do this, but like, it was weighted, right? So then if you didn't fit all your stuff in that weighted area and you tried to take off one thing, they'd be like, please put back the item on, like they thought you were trying to steal or something just because there literally was no space. So I'm not a huge fan of this whole scan and go, you know, self checkout thing. So honestly, if I was going to be a Walmart Plus member, I definitely would deliver everything. I'm not trying to go up in Walmart and shop in that place. So Walmart's landing page is also saying like saving money. Now this could actually be, you could literally get more exclusive deals and stuff like that. I doubt it though. Mostly that $98 that you're paying is gonna be covering, you know, that cost of delivery that you're gonna be getting left and right. So. I doubt that it's gonna be much different on the pricing. So they're also, Walmart is also reportedly going to add video entertainment just like Amazon has with their whole Prime Video. I really don't think this is needed. I'm not gonna go to Walmart's like video platform and start browsing, like watching Walmart video. There's already so many other video options out there. Peacock is now about to like launch. NBC's got their own Peacock. I, I thought Hulu was with NBC. I don't know why they're launching Peacock. Anyway, story for another day. But basically, Walmart did this uh, survey or Credit Suisse, Credit Suisse did this survey and basically there are there is a lot of interest in Walmart Plus, um, especially in the age range of 18 to 44 years old. So I definitely, am expecting the lower income people that don't want to pay Amazon. Um, and you know, it's hard to compete with Amazon, man. Their delivery tracking is on point. Um, their whole like customer service when it comes to getting that package from their van to your front door is like really good. Like everybody makes jokes on TikTok about how like UPS and uh, USPS are like garbage. They're throwing your package from the street to your front door. Like well, Amazon, has their stuff together and it is gonna be hard to dethrone them because they they got their stuff down. Plus Amazon has uh, Whole Foods. So if they really wanted to go head to head with Walmart, I really don't think one in three people are gonna be jumping ship from Amazon Prime to go to Walmart. But anyway, here's a little bit. In 2015, Walmart launched Shipping Pass, an unlimited online shipping experience that costs $50 per year and promised deliveries within three days or less. Now we all know that that didn't really work out because it's not still around right now. This was Walmart's attempt to undercut Amazon Prime, which at the time cost about $100 a year. Two years later, Walmart dropped its membership fee, switched to a two-day free shipping program on all orders of $35 or more. So they just basically abolished it and just went with like, hey, if you pay $35, we'll give you free shipping. So they've been, Walmart has been really trying to get into e-commerce. In 2016, they bought Jet.com for $3 billion and then basically just threw it all away. 
they literally like closed it down. I mean, maybe they salvaged some of the back end internet components, parts and pieces and stuff, but basically they bought Jet and just shut it down, which is just crazy to me. $3 billion, it's just, they did Amazon a massive favor because I probably would have been experimenting shopping with Jet, that's pretty crazy. But uh, the feud, so there is a feud, I guess, between Walmart and Amazon. Just as Amazon announced its plans to offer a one-day shipping, Walmart followed suit with its one-day shipping pilot as well. So most recently, Walmart announced a two-hour express delivery for an additional $10 over Walmart's typical delivery fees. So, you know, Walmart is trying. I would definitely see Amazon as the Goliath and Walmart is the little David. I think Walmart's market cap is like 300 billion or something. And then um, Amazon's market cap is like one and a half trillion. So Amazon is like five times, let's just say four to seven times larger than Walmart at this point, which is crazy because a lot of people laughed at Amazon because Walmart was just killing it. Now Walmart is slacking and uh, they're trying to now do what, what Amazon is doing. Anyway, um, Walmart's goal is to reach over 150 million paid members, which is uh, Amazon's current rate, uh, you know, what they currently have. But I think Amazon's probably going to finish the year at 200 million. If I was, so it's $20 more per year, which the savings is not that big. I would personally choose Amazon Prime over Walmart Plus. Let me know what you think. Leave it in the comments below. Are you going to be a Walmart Plus? Are you going to do both Walmart Plus and Amazon Prime? Leave it in the comments below. Click that thumbs up button. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not yet subscribed, now is the time to subscribe to the channel. I'm constantly posting business news and internet marketing tactics. Again, if you want to book a free marketing strategy call with me, head over to evolvemedia.agency and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.